I am Anil Kumar. Welcome to my series on vectors. In this particular video, we are going to discuss how to find the closest distance from an external point to a given line. And also, we will see how the concept can be extended to find the mirror image. So, the question before us is that we are given a point P minus 1, 2, 3 and the line L in parametric form where x, y, z is equal to 1 plus 2t minus 4 plus 3t and 3 plus t. So the direction of this line, let's say the direction vector for this line is 2, 3 and 1, correct? So uh, let me sketch a line here given to us let's say this is the line given to us let's call it line L and a point external point P let this be the external point P then to get the shortest distance we have to draw a line perpendicular to the given line going through point P kind of like this do you see that so wherever it crosses the line that is the foot of the perpendicular so this point is the foot of the perpendicular from the external point P. Right? Let's call this point as R. So the idea is to get a dot product between these two and equate the dot product to zero to get the value of R. Once we find the foot of the perpendicular, we can easily calculate the distance that will be the closest distance and part C is the mirror image. So we'll keep that as a midpoint and a point on the other side, let's say P dash, so that these distances are equal, will be found. So that is the strategy which we are going to adopt to solve this particular question. You can always pause the video, answer and then look into my suggestions. Now let's take up foot of the perpendicular from point P to line L. Let's move to the next page to solve this. So again, let me sketch the line once again so that you know we understand as we follow the question. So we have a point P here and from point P we are drawing a perpendicular and let this point of intersection be point R and we are calling this as the foot of the perpendicular from external point P which is minus 1 2 3 okay that's the line L for us now to calculate the foot of the perpendicular we'll assume the coordinates of point R which are given by the equation of the line right so the coordinates of point R for us will be as given here 1 plus 2t minus 4 plus 3t and 3 plus t. So from p to r the vector pr will be what? Vector pr will be the r coordinates 1 plus 2t minus 4 plus 3t 3 plus t minus the coordinates of p right? which is minus 1, 2, 3. So that is vector PR, which I could write here as, so 1 minus minus 1 gives me 2 plus 2T minus 4 minus 2 gives us minus 6 plus 3T and 3 minus 3 is 0, so we get T here. So that is the vector PR. Now once we have this vector PR, in that case, we can now find the coordinates of R by utilizing the fact that the dot product between the vector PR and the direction vector is zero, right? So, so PR dot the direction vector D should be equal to zero, right? So let's equate this. So we have 
Pr as 2 plus 2t minus 6 plus 3t and t dot the direction vector is 2, 3 and 1. So let's calculate this dot product. It is equal to so 2 times 2 is 4, 4 plus 4t minus 6 times 3 is 18 plus 9t and t. I mean, okay, plus t. Okay. So this should be equal to 0, right? So we can combine the terms. 4 minus 18 is minus 14. 4t plus 10, 14t, right? So we get... 14t. Taking 4 to this, 14 to the other side, we get t equals to 1, right? So we get 14 equals to 14t and that gives you t as equal to 1. Now since t is equal to 1, we can find what r is. So we get the foot of the perpendicular, correct? So, so in this equation here, the coordinate points for r will be equal to what? So r equals to, we can write it in this form, where t equals to 1, right? So we get r as 1 plus 2 minus 4 plus 3 and z coordinates are 3 plus 1. So you could write this as 3 uh, minus 1 and 4, right? So that is the foot of the perpendicular, correct? So that is the foot of the perpendicular. This is the foot of perpendicular. Let me write like this. Okay. So we get the first part. That is how do we find the foot of the perpendicular from an external point to the given line. Okay. So which is for us 3 minus 1, 4. Now... From the foot of the perpendicular, we can find the distance. So let's move on. So now we will find the closest distance. So let's continue. So we know the, let me re-sketch this diagram here. So what we found was that this point P is, is minus 1, 2 and 3 and we found this point R as 3 minus 1, 4. 4. So now we can calculate the distance PR, correct? So PR is the magnitude of PR will be square root of x1 minus x2 square which is 3 minus minus 1 square plus minus 1 minus 2 square plus 4 minus 3 square which is equal to square root of 3 plus 1 4 16 you can always use calculator right 3 square is 9 plus 1 square is 1 which is equal to square root of 26 Right, so we get the distance, shortest distance in this particular case as 26. So the closest distance from P to L is square root of 26 units, correct? So we're done uh, part B now. Now let's find the mirror image. For finding the mirror image, we are going to use P and R and we need to find the point P dash so that the distance from P to R is same as from R to P dash, correct? So let's find the mirror image now. So let's once again sketch the same line. The point P and let's say this is the mirror image P dash, right? Coordinates for P R minus 1, 2, 3. Coordinates for R, which we just calculated, 
3 minus 1, 4. Now we don't know, let's say x, y and z are the coordinates for P day. Now since R is the midpoint, we can use the midpoint formula. So we'll use the midpoint formula to find P dash, right? So R is the midpoint. of P, P dash. That is kind of important to understand. So that really means that X plus minus 1 over 2 should be equal to 3, right? And Y plus 2 over 2 should be equal to minus 1 and Z plus 3 over 2 should be equal to 4 the coordinate points of R, right? So that should help us to calculate the X, Y, Z values. So let's calculate. So we can just cross multiply. So we get X minus 1 equals to 6 or X is equal to 6 plus 1 which is 7. Now in this case, Y plus 2 equals to minus 2. So Y equals to minus 2 minus 2. So we get Y equals to minus 4. As far as z is concerned, z plus 3 equals to 8 and z equals to 8 minus 3 which is 5. So we get the values. So now we can write that the mirror image of P is P dash whose coordinates are 7, minus 4 and 5. Perfect. So that is how you can do all the three things. That is finding the foot of the perpendicular from point P to a line, finding closest distance and the coordinates of mirror image. So I hope you find it useful and interesting. Feel free to write your comments, share your views. If you like and subscribe to my videos, that'd be great. Share my videos with your friends and share your questions. Thank you and all the best.